and welcome to another video. It's Sunday afternoon here and Kel and I have just come back from having brunch with some friends and we're gonna head off to the beach because it's a really hot day here but there was so much traffic so we thought we'd go later on. So I thought I'd film a quick video which is a vegan shepherd's pie. I made this last week and it tasted really good so I thought I would share it on YouTube. Here are the ingredients. We've got some basil, some parsley, I've got some leftover spinach or silver beet and I've got some leaves of kale. Got spices, I will be using a chicken stock and this one is vegan. I've got some basil and garlic, tomatoes, diced tomatoes, some lentils, onion, capsicum, I've got some mushrooms. Last time I made this I used the button mushrooms but these were on sale so why not. I've got two carrots and some celery and then for the top or the mash on top I've got a sweet potato and two potatoes. First thing I'm going to do is chop up these which will then be boiling so that they'll be ready to mash when the lentil mixture is cooking. such a newbie when it comes to mushrooms because I've never really liked mushrooms so I don't really know how to cook with them and honestly the first time that I actually cooked with mushrooms was when I made this dish last week um, so I think this will be a thing that I will learn to love and learn to cook with and know what the different types of mushrooms taste like and that sort of thing because I do know that they add lots of flavor um, they're not the most pretty looking things I think, but they are pretty cool. Look at this. Yeah. What are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. So as I was saying, I really don't know how to cook with mushrooms, but I know they've got lots of flavor, so I think I will start using them more. But with these, I'm just gonna chop them up, dice them up small, so that they're not really big chunky pieces because when they're big I don't like the taste. So that's my personal preference. If you love mushrooms then cut them however you want. mixture just to so that it soaks up some of the juice and becomes more thick um, so that when we put it into the tin and then you take it out it doesn't just splat all over the place it just kind of holds its shape so you should just add a couple of tablespoons just until it starts looking quite thick and gluey together I think that's the right consistency now. 
because when it does go in the oven to cook the together with the mashed potato that will also reduce some of the liquid as well so I'm gonna pop that in the tin mash the potato put the potato on top and then it's ready to go in the oven whenever you like going to the beach I'm just going to cover this and pop it in the fridge so that when we come home I can just put it in the oven and have dinner ready in half an hour. I'm meant to go to the beach after brunch but the traffic was so busy so now we're gonna try round two of going to the beach. Are you gonna swim? Yeah. Yes, I am. Me too. Actually, I think this will be our first swim. Actually, no, we did swim in Narrabeen when we came back, but it's probably been four months since we swam in the ocean. Exciting. Here we are at Freshwater Beach. Yay, yeah. Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Sydney. <laughs> Did you get the shot? Notified of when I make more videos. Hope you like it and thanks for watching.